Hey, beautifuls, what's good? What's popping? It's your girl. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said it's your girl. But anyway, hey, beautifuls, what's good? What's popping? It's I'm just Jackie. I'm here. I'm back. And listen, I said I'm here to drop another video this week for my beautifuls. If you missed the last week's video, please be sure to check it out. It was a wig. I don't really call my wig videos wig reviews because... They be all over the place. Listen, but go check out my latest video. It was a, a wig sent to me from Atos Wigs. And uh, yeah, go check it out. Let me know what you think. But all word and forward, I want to say hello and welcome to my new beautifuls out there in YouTube land. Uh, thank you for clicking that beautiful subscribe button and coming and watching. I'm just Jackie. And for those of you who are not subscribed, I still appreciate you coming by and check it out. I'm just Jackie. Okay. A view is a view. Hmm. Thank you. So anywho, I decided to come up here because I wanted to recreate a face for my beautifuls. Last week, I believe it was in the no, it was a week before. I had did a post, and I'm, I'm I will definitely put the clip in. I did a post and of a face, and I I put it on Twitter, and I I think I put it on Instagram as well. Well, basically, I was saying I'm 45, and I do makeup. No, I said I'm 45. And for anybody who likes a clean, simple makeup look, come subscribe to my channel, okay? Because in the past, I've had um, viewers tell me how they appreciate my simple makeup looks. They can go step from step, and it actually looks like the face I did. Not not nothing sidebars and something totally off 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 balance or whatever. So, like I like I said, I decided to recreate that face. And listen, I this is going to be a long video. I'm just going to forewarn you and because I want to take my time with it because I know a couple of people have told me they be trying to keep up with what I'm using to create the face, but most of the time when I do a makeup look, I always speed it up. And then at the end, I give y'all a voila. Well, this time I'm not going to speed it up. I'm going to give y'all the whole ruler to the tuna. Okay. So, first of all, I already prepped and primed my face with, um, I use a moisturizer from, it's not in here, but I use a moisturizer from this company called, um, Urban Skin Decay. I don't know if it, yeah, but same company. I haven't tried this yet, y'all. Y'all want me to do a review on this? Let me know. But, um, Yes, yeah, so I use a moisturizer, cleanse, moisturize my face with um, Urban, 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 Urban Skin RX, right? So after that, I toned my, used a toner. Honestly, I just used uh, Witch Hazel, you know, on my face for a toner. Um, I could have used my <sighs> Estee Lauder, but I didn't feel like using that. Um, I just like, I don't know, I just, the Witch Hazel is doing it for me right now. Um, after that, I came and I oiled my face with avocado oil. I did use primers. The two primers I used today, I used the Cover FX. I'm looking for it, but I don't see it. I tried to have everything laid out for y'all, but I used the Cover FX. And then I also came back, and in the center of my face, I used the, um... Damn, I'm sorry, y'all can't find nothing. But it's the Rimmel Stay Matte. So I use that in the T-zone area just to reinforce because of the type of foundation I'm using today. Okay, so all that off camera. So let's just, just let's go, let's go. So y'all know, I told y'all I'm a woman of age and you notice changes in your skin. So um, I started color correcting, okay? So I started color correcting. I always color correct around my mouth because I feel like I have a beard <laughs> at times. Okay. No mustache, but just like a goatee without the mustache. But anyway, we getting it all today. Right? So then and this is uh why is everything running a blank for me today? This is a LA Girl Pro concealers. Then I come back with something close to my skin. To conceal certain areas I want to conceal. Some old blemishes or whatever. And every now and then. Depends on how my energy is. Depends on how my week is. I can tell where these dark. These medium dark circles come from. They're not that, they're not that bad though. But I want to still 
if you see me looking over there, I am looking in my handy dandy mirror. So hopefully the light is okay. I don't know. I really wanted to give y'all this natural sunlight, but let me see. I, I hope this natural. I don't know. I I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I hope this. It's like a super mad crazy glare. So let me go like this. Go back like this. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Let me see if this is gonna help. I probably should have tested lighting. Eh, but what do you do? Keep it moving, right? So I'm going to keep it moving. All right, so I got the stuff where I want it, right? Well, stuff right here. And I always get around the nose right around here. All right. So then I come with my handy dandy sponge. And I just blend everything in. It's not a lot. But I just blend it in accordingly. And again, y'all, I ain't going to know how this looks until I finish recording and go back and do playback. So I'm kind of hoping that this lighting is okay. Because I, I feel like I look dark. But eh, I am dark. I mean, you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean, though. Y'all know what I mean. I feel like it's um, the back is just too much. It's not It's the lighting. There's no lighting. That's how I'm. That's all I got. The lighting's just off. Okay. So, we'll see. But honestly, this is the second time I'm doing this video. I, I did it last week. I did not like the outcome of it. For one, I listen, I just didn't like the outcome of it. And I wasn't going to put that out. So, at the end of the day, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope this comes out like I want it. Okay, so anywho, just blending for life, right? And everything. Once I'm done blending, I take my makeup forever. This is what I do. You don't have to use everything exactly that I use, but some form of it, some shape, form, fashion. But this, this happens to be a super matte loose powder, right? So I just use it to set wherever I place the the color correcting and concealing okay and I pat I just pitter pitter pat pat pitter pitter pat pat just to make sure it gets in the skin good because I'm doing this to reinforce reinforce the um the stay matte rimmel that I use for the primer and of course to set the concealer and color correcting, but it's really to reinforce what I have under the concealer and color correcting. And um, make sure that skin gets it just to help block the oils that will be produced throughout the day. Okay? Because I'm just not that girl that checks her face throughout the day. So if I'm oily, I'm oily. You know what I'm saying? So I try to do what I need to do so I know, like, oh, I know my skin is good. But sometimes you can just tell that your skin is on a slippery slope, right? Like, yeah, girl, you need to go check. She feeling kind of greasy. Not easy. So, yeah. But, um, so yes, yeah, so I got that setting. So I'm moving on to the brows, baby. Brow time. So I brush my brows. You know, pretty much how I'm trying to shape them, right? Right. So, eh, it's already sharpened enough. And I start here at the end. Start here at the end. If you see me looking away, I'm looking in my hand in the mirror. And if y'all hear my phone going off, I'm pretty sure somebody's about to text me again. So, I apologize. I thought I put the phone on vibrate. And then I didn't even change it when I replied to the text, so... If you hear it again, my bad. Hey. So, starting with my tips. Looking over in my mirror. Y'all know how I do. I gave y'all an updated brow routine, brow routine about a month or so ago. And so far, so good. It's been working for me. I try to keep these bad boys as natural as possible. So, yeah. 
Then I come in with my Fenty. And I think I got dark brown or darkest brown. I don't know. But I did a review on it. And um, this is how the Fenty best suits me. Okay. And I want to get my money's worth from it. So. Yeah. So anyway. Um, while I'm up here just doing my face. Let me run my mouth a little bit. But um, I don't know. I just felt like. Um, doing this video. Because I felt like it was a needed video. Um, because it's a, it's a lot of us. 40 plus women. Who don't want to do all the the who don't want to do the the glitz and glam? Now shout out to my my glam girls because listen, if I don't want to say I can't, I just don't wanna. But it would be hard for me to do because I'm just not that glitz and glam girl. The most glitz and glam you're gonna get from me is taking one eyeshadow color that has some sparkle in it. That's that's the most glitz and glam you're gonna get from Jackie. Now, if I had a makeup artist doing my face for some kind of event, oh, I would let her go ham. I would let her just go ham for me, you know what I'm saying? And give me the glitz and glam for the evening. But for me, that's my glitz and glam. And I, I, I'm still able to keep a natural look without, uh, without, without all the, the vibrant colors and... Cause I, like I said, I would love to do all that, y'all. I'm just not that. I'm just not that girl. I'm just not that girl. I like simple, simple, clean, um, classic, you know. But like I said, shout out to the girls that be getting it in. Cause I love watching y'all. Um, I love watching y'all videos. I love the energy y'all give out. Doing all um, to get those beautiful uh, faces at the end, and to get those beautiful eye looks and everything, man. Ah, <sighs> the eye looks are amazing. I think that's really what it is for me. The eye looks. Um, the eye looks can can jazz it up or just keep it where it's at. You know what I'm saying? And I just be keeping mine where it's at. I stay in my lane because I am not that girl for the eye looks. But um, but I know I know another YouTuber who does do uh eye looks as well. Um, I feel like hers are simple and clean too. But she does. She, she like really gets into her eye makeup at times. And I always talk about her. I swear I talk about her in every video. I, I can. But it's my girl Lori. It's Lori's Life. Hey, y'all. If y'all are not following It's Lori's Life, go follow It's Lori's Life. She gives you a little bit of everything. Okay? Everything. So go follow my girl. It's Lori's Life. And, um... So once I get the brows like I wanted, you know, this was the look I did for work. So sometimes I'll be like, I ain't too pressed with these brows. But I'm going to finish them like I need to finish them. You know, brows ain't going to be even, y'all. We we know this. So I'm using the It's Cosmetics. I like using the It's Cosmetics when I distinctively want my brow bone um, color. Well, not color, but you know, I distinctly want my brow bone to stand out a little bit, right? So, because it seems like the other colors I have, they blend right into the skin. And then by the time I do the eyeshadow and stuff, it just blends right into the um, the skin. And it don't give me that pop right here in the brow that I need. So, I'm going to go in my mirror, y'all, because I can't see. And honestly, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way, but it feels like I need a little bit more. I, I don't know. It feels like I just want to know. Watch this. It's going to be too much. Because this stuff is like, it like melts, you know, and spreads. So, I probably had enough. And I should have just kept working with it. But we'll see. So, like I said, up in my handy dandy mirror. And this is pretty much my everyday brow routine, y'all. I just changed up concealers. Like, I just changed the concealer that I want to use for the day. You know? Depending on... <sighs> depending on what I look I'm going for or whatever or depending on what I can find because y'all know my table be a mess and a mess and I can't find nothing at times but I, I was a good girl today I laid everything out so y'all won't be seeing me fumble and bubble everywhere and hearing stuff hit the floor and crap so I did at least do that today took everything out that I needed okay so 
Now, what's been going on with my beautifuls out there? Like y'all can really talk back to me, but y'all can leave comments in the um y'all can leave these comments, you know, from watching the video and everything. So I will say I was I've been on my YouTube. I've been watching YouTube more, y'all. Cause you know, I told y'all when I was on my break, I really wasn't keeping up with nobody's videos or nothing. And right now, I can say I'm really watching. I'll get on my Keisha G, you know, catching up with old vlogs she's doing. Um, I will be on my who's the other one I've been on? I've been on Jackie Ina. You know, Jackie Ina is very entertaining. I really don't watch Jackie for her no makeup. Um, I don't watch her for her makeup. I just watch her because she's entertaining. That's that's the only reason why I watch Jackie. Not to say I don't learn nothing from Jackie. Um, but I really don't go for no makeup tips for, for Jackie. You know, I don't even go for the reviews for the stuff that she does. Like I said, Jackie is very entertaining. So I watch her for entertainment. And um, I just been watching her videos lately, cause y'all know I y'all know I boycotted her for the longest time, for at least a year, at least a year. So I just been watching her, and then um I've been watching Tony Daly, and um I know a lot of people who watch me probably watch Tony Daly too. So y'all been watching pretty much the same thing I've been watching with Tony. But first of all, I want to say um. Congratulations to Tony, um, cause her um her view her not her views, her subscriptions have gone up tremendously in the last few months or so. Um, I want if she ain't already at a hundred thousand right now, and today is November third, cause I just watched a video. I want to say it was yesterday or today, and she was like over 98,000. So pretty much probably within another, I'm going to say within another four weeks, um, Tony, Tony Daly's channel is going to hit 100,000. Um, 100, and shout out to her. I don't know what kind of recognition, I'm sorry, I don't know what kind of recognition YouTube does for that, but shout out to Tony. So after I, you know, y'all see I kind of use my heat from my fingers to, you know, pat the concealer in and even it out, smooth it out. Then I come in with my Estee Lauder Double double Wear. It's just a foundation powder. This is the one I'm just so happy to use. You know, you see the color. And I just use it to set the concealer. That's all I do. I haven't used this as a foundation in a while, if I use it as a foundation, it will be later on in the winter when my skin probably gets a little lighter. But right now, my skin is brown, brown, pretty brown, brown, driving me. Well, maybe I shouldn't be singing that. Okay, y'all. Bye bye. That's the first thing that popped in my head. Y'all know I'm random. So, anyway, so after that, I start working with the eyes. Okay. So, this is where my old age comes in. And this is where my old age comes in, y'all. So, what I'm going to be using today, this is one of the um one of the things I'm using. It's not all MAC, by the way. It's not all MAC. Um, the colors I'm using are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's um, I don't know what it's called, but it's red something. And I fell in love with this color. I've been using this for like a transition color since I bought it, probably about a year ago. And you already see. I'm hitting pan on that thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm 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 I'm, I'm re responding to this text. I'm being rude to my beautiful out there. <laughs> and um but yeah, so I'm taking this red something. I don't know what it's called, but that's what I'm taking. Like I said, handy dandy mirror over here. And um, I'm doing this all over. I know I said transition, but I'm doing this all over. I love this color. And it, and like I even do this color for one eyeshadow look. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love it. 
just nice and vibrant and warm at the same time. So I'm blending this in with my Real Techniques. Oh, excuse me, with my Real Techniques brush. Don't ask me the number. Could be a 301, could be a 201, but let's see if I. It's a 200, the Real Techniques 200 brush. This is my favorite eyeshadow blending brush, okay? I didn't know how good these particular Real Technique brushes are from that, that first line, that first special edition line that they came out with, these metals, whatever they're called. So doing the same thing with the other eye. And y'all want to say this is probably just for me. If I was sitting here, not talking to y'all, not responding to texts and everything, and just sitting here and just taking my time with my face, I would say this is a 30 minute face. So if this is a 30 minute face without me talking, I'm going to say this is going to be at least an hour video. <laughs> okay. So, but yeah, get it to my desired consistency and blend. Okay. And I just drag it out because I know I'm about to put foundation on the cover or whatever is outside my eye range. So I just drag it out like that. I love this color. I wish I knew the name of the color. So, there. Alright, so now that's that color. Now, coming in with the Urban Decay Smoky, Smoky palette, y'all. And... I really don't remember what color I used. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with armor. That's what I'm going with, y'all. If it ain't armor, it's gonna be armor today. So I'm actually taking one of the Urban Decay brushes. Like, you know, these brushes are actually I like these. They're good. They're good. So taking an Urban Decay brush. Let me set this down. And I'm going to pat this on my eyes. And like I said, this color is called Armor. And I want to say the day I did this look, I had like a gray sweatshirt on with floor with a floral print. So it had some pinks, it had some had some uh, green, it had it had a little bit of everything color in it, you know. That pretty much blend that went well with this look. So it it worked. It definitely worked. So, like I said, I'm just patting it on the eye. I didn't mean to go this far over. I meant to really just go right here, but it is what it is. I wasn't paying attention. It's still not too bad. I didn't go all the way over. So, and like I said, just pat. Just patting on the eye. Oh, no, I don't want to mix the color up. All right, let me get another brush. I actually dipped in the wrong damn color. These brushes come in handy. Every, I mean, I don't know how many of these things I got. <laughs> so... But yep, just pitter pat, pitter pat, pitter pat. But um, what was that? Um, like my eye looks are very simple. I try to stay with no more than two palettes. Like I say, my transition colors in that that one Mac palette. Um, the most of the colors are Mac, but there are about probably about three or four colors that are not Mac in that palette. But, um, I don't know. I, I'm just not a big fan of MAC eyeshadows. I just have, like, some of the real popular ones from MAC in that palette. Everything else is probably going to end up being, like, an Anastasia Beverly Hills color. Because those eyeshadows, woo, they are nice. Okay? Super nice. So, come back to the side. And I'm just here. All right. Let me make sure I get it like I want it. I'm over here in my hand in the mirror. So, yeah, like I was saying, no more than three colors. Well, I ain't say that yet. So, no more than three colors and no more than two palettes. That, that's how I roll. You know what I'm saying? So, now I'm going to come with... What am I going to come with? Uh, let me use one that's a little stiffer. I'm going to come with this fluff brush, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I don't remember if I used the black in here or the dagger. I'm going to go with the black, though. Let's just go with the black. So I'm going to take the black. It's called Black Market. And I'm going to take this fluff brush. And I'm going to go like this. Just put it right there where y'all see I stopped. 
and just keep dabbing on top till I get my desired consistency. All right? And then what I'm going to do after that, I'm going to start swooping it right here to blend it and get rid of any harsh lines, right? So, like so. And I'm swooping it all the way over. All the way over. Like so. Okay. Like so. And I'm going to do the other side. Same thing. So this is what I'm just Jackie does. Whatever techniques you guys have. So y'all do what y'all do. Y'all know y'all face better than I do. You need to know like your eye shape. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's eye shape ain't different. Everything don't work for every body, right? So till I get the desired consistency, then I start blending out. Okay. Start blending out like so. I'm bringing it all the way over. Okay. Like so. It's like I'm blend I I got my outer corner, right? Then I'm taking my outer corner and I'm bringing it up into my transition. And then even part of that lid color right here. Like when I bring it over here, I'm I'm touching that lid color where at the top of the lid. And I'm just blending everything up into the transition color. That's what I'm doing right now. That's all I'm doing. Nothing spectacular. Then I want to come back with the brush I use for the transition and kind of get some of that color back. Because, you know, when you start blending the colors, it takes some of that main color away. So I'm bringing some of that color back. Okay. Make sure it's blended well. Then I'm going to take this bl bl blush. Then I'm going to take this brush and just hit the... Make sure it's just blended well in here. That's all. That is all. Just make sure it's blending. Blending is the key. Everybody knows blending is the key. Blending is the key. So then I'm coming back with my... Um, I don't know where I fit it, but I'm coming back with my brush. And I'm going to take my armor, pull the eye a little bit, and then pat back on. Because, like I said, when you blend, your main lid color loses its punch. So you just want to come back over the main lid part, right where the blending meets, starts and ends. And then just pat life back into your lid color. Okay? Makes sense. Makes sense to me. Because you don't want to lose that color payout. You know what I'm saying? So, you don't want, you don't have to, damn, I did it again. I hit the wrong color. You don't have to, um, do the whole entire lid. Like I said, just the part where it's not blended into anything. And then you can just go like this when you get to those areas where it's blended. Like so. Alright, y'all. So that's that's it for my eyes. You know, I'll come well for now. For now, that's it for the eyeballs. Now I'm coming in with foundation. So today's foundation of choice. Lately I've been pulling for stick foundations. And the main reason why it's simple, it's easy, effortless to blend. Um, I ain't gotta spend much time. I think liquid foundation need to be more patient and have more time for liquid liquid foundation to get the payout of the look that you want. You know what I'm saying? And like when I'm up for work, I just want to get up and hurry up. You know what I'm saying? So I want to look like I did a face without really doing a face. And um, but that particular day for work, when I did this face, I just took my time and did a face. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here and I'm just putting it in the center part. And I got this from Lori. And I believe Lori got this from uh, Destiny Godly. So, shout out to Lori and Destiny Godly. 
Because if I didn't watch Lori, I would have never, I would have never known about this technique, and vice versa. Okay, so I'm taking one of my, um, taking one of my real technique brushes. This brush is actually good for blending. Um, these they're gonna stick foundations. It's effortless. It's really, really effortless now I'm just coming to like about right here you know in the center of my face and the reason for like the two-tone two-tone foundation like if you take a foundation that might be just a little bit lighter it's like giving yourself that natural highlight look that highlight that we always do when we do the under eye concealer and all that stuff so you got that then you can come back and actually do that you can actually do that technique but if you don't have time to then it's kind of cool because then you can just take a you can take your regular setting powder for your under eye and, and you know do the technique and you know go for from there so, but anyway I t the first one i used was maybelline fit colors 355 and then the next one i'm going to use is the makeup forever hd and i'm just going to do that in the outer part so, like so, and um, yeah, that's that. Probably that should be enough. Yeah, cause you know this, like a little bit of this stuff go a long way. You don't need a whole lot of that stick foundation, y'all. And I just start going in circles. Make sure I hit that chin. Come under, and same thing over here. I'm just going in a circle and make sure you get that part where one and two meet and just blend for life. It's all about blending, y'all. All about blending. Get that chin, come under. I don't come all the way down my neck. It's just something I've never done. I don't think I would ever get into... I don't think I ever would get into it like that at this point in time. I don't... I don't see a reason why, cause like if y'all watching me, it's like chin, you know, my neck, and it's, yeah. So I, I don't know. I feel like it's already a good color match just from looking at me like this, like and where my chin and my neck kind of, yeah. But I don't know. But a lot, but there's some people that does that do do the neck, and I understand why, cause it's you know the color. What? Listen, y'all, we ain't the same color all over our body. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends on where your discolorations are. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a type of discoloration where you probably would need to come down further on your neck. But for me, I just hit this chin and I make sure I get right under it and I stop right there. Right there. Boom. So anyhow. Alright. Pull this down. I'm just trying to let my, let my hair lay a little bit. Y'all know I always feel like my brows move. <laughs> when I'm doing a video, okay. So anyway, so that's the two makeups. I mean, the two foundations, and I'm just making sure. And I, you know, and I like these two. They're not matte. They're definitely not matte foundations. They kind of give me like a dewy, got kind of like a little natural glow look or, or whatever. But yeah, I, I I like that though. Um, shoot, I had everything laid out, y'all. Oh, okay, here we go. My next move is my under eye highlight. I have really been getting away from the deep V, like literally applying it like this, this, this. I or triangle, whatever you want to call it. I swear. I just go like this, y'all. I do a swoop and keep it moving. Cause when you use your your um your beauty blender, it's gonna spread. So I always go like that. Make sure I come down his nose like so, and I stopped doing the chin, and I and I just been coming around here like this, like that. So, and you see, I don't go as heavy up in that part. I go real heavy right up under the eyes, you know. So I'm taking my um brush. I'm mean, taking my beauty blender. And just blending. Normally, I don't do the center part first. I don't know why I did it on camera first, but 
is what it is. But we're going to keep it moving. Because normally I go right up under here. So let me do this. And come down here. And I get right here. Just spray it again. And now I'm getting right up under here. Right up under here. Right there at the corner and bring it around. And this is how I clean up my eyes, y'all. I know a lot of us do that. Like we take that concealer and put it right at an angle and bring it up and we clean up that eye. So that's how I clean up my eye, my eye makeup, just like that and bring it boom, boom, boom at an angle. And just blend everything right up under here. Come here. Same thing, just come right on up. See, y'all see it? Bam. See that line? I don't know if it's showing real good on this side, but that's how I got that line. Yeah, got that line, girl. So, what I'm going to do is, that side didn't really get the cut like I wanted, so I'm going to go like this. And then come back and blend it in. Because that side I really didn't get the, the cut that I wanted it to have. Okay. Alright. And I'm just going back under, blending, color there. Till I get the precise blending that you want. Alright. Now after that, I come back with my Sasha Buttercup uh, setting powder. This is it. This was like the the ish, like two years ago, whatever, two three years ago. All black women had it, okay. But you know they have migrated on to other under eye powders. But I have stuck with this old faithful one because it just does it for me. If something's working for you, just keep on working with it, right? And plus is a plus is a lot. Watch this. Hey, watch this. Hey, girl. Hey, hey, how you doing? Not to listen. Guess what I'm doing? What? I'm recording the video and I asked the phone. So okay. <laughs> listen, okay, I, I said, I'm going to ask the phone. I said, who was Lori? I, I already talked about you as usual in the beginning of the video. So, hey, y'all. Everybody say hi, Lori. Hey, hey. <laughs> say, welcome to the grown woman's table. <laughs> Nah, hey, but I'm gonna hit you back up when I finish, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Bye, bye. Yeah, y'all. That was Laurie from It's Laurie's Life. Y'all think I just be talking about folks and don't really be uh don't really be uh talking to them and having conversations and having relationships with them? But listen, anybody who follows me on Instagram, anybody who's seen other. YouTube videos from back in the day from other vlogs. You have seen Lori in my videos, okay? So anyway, let that thing set, y'all. Just let that thing rest. I'm coming back. I can put my Sasha Buttercup away. I love this stuff. Got it all. Got it for like twenty dollars for a Black Friday, uh, Black Friday deal. I think it was twenty dollars. Yeah, twenty or twelve dollars. Either way, it was a deal. Okay, freaking steel deal. Forty percent off. That's all I know. It was forty percent off. That was the best sale of that year. So I'm gonna take my. Damn, but you know what, y'all? I can't remember if I actually went in with my sticks, though. Did I go in with my sticks, or did I just do this? Y'all. Now, we're going to keep it simple. So, I think I just, just did the powder. I don't think I used my, um, my sticks for the contour from Rihanna. So, give me your fish face. And I just start with that line right here. Okay. And this is the powder version. I got the cream too, but I'm just using up what I got. And then normally I would do the cream and then set it with the powder, but I'm not. I, this is supposed to be a simple look. Simple, clean look. 40 plus women. Easy, breezy, beautiful, colored girl look. Okay? So, and then I hit this chin. Y'all notice I dip a lot. I do. I really do. I just hit that chin hard right here. 
I get that nose too. I don't pinch nothing. I just let it do what it do. Okay. Then I start getting up around here. Do it like this. Then I come back around. I just start swirling. And I connect it to my fish face right here. Come down and then hit that chin again. That's what I do. Swirl. Fish face. Come down. Chin. Then after I do that, I take the center, which is supposed to be the sculpted. I don't really use the highlight part in these things. Take the sculpt. Y'all see the pan is real. Uh, you, that's when you know you love something. And I take the sculpted, and I just come in between my fish face and my chin, and I get in there. Like that. Then I just blend. Okay. And I do the other side between the chin and the fish face. And I just blend. Okay. I just do the little nose right here. Then I definitely get right here. Then I'm using the still using the sculpted. And I just go like this. Okay. That's that, right? Now I come back with doo -doo -doo -tch 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 -tch. this is like my favorite thing, my it cosmetic brush. Mm hmm And I come back with this and I clean up, right? Clean up. What are the messed up? Boom. And then I'll take the Estee Lauder Double Wear and I'll just dip it a little bit. And you might be asking why did I dip it? So what? have such a yellow tone sometimes I don't like this thing sitting too long and sometimes I feel like if I use too much and it's sitting too long it's going to give me like a real serious yellow yellow um you know cast which that's not what I want you know as I have my glam face and I will go hard in the paint with my under eye concealer girl I will do that. All right, so I do that. And this is all about keeping it, still keeping it natural. You know what I'm saying? So, now, with all that being said, let me go right up under here. Right up under here. All right. Come in with my eyeliner. Regular ass degla. Y'all use whatever black eyeliner you want. Whatever you want. And I'm doing my eyeliner. Okay. I wanted to say this is Dolce. Dolce. I can't remember. I got this in the Ipsy bag. It's really a nice, really a nice eyeliner. So not too bad. Okay. That's the eyeliner. And then I want to come back and just um touch on my eyes a little bit. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. Just right here on the outer V. I'm sorry, I was all in my hand and any mirror. Just a little bit. Just touch it a little bit. It's not a lot that you want to disturb here. Okay. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now, I'm going to come with this Real Technique Flush Brush. I just want to do something under the eye real quick. Um, I never remember what color I want to use, so it's like, do you want to go dark or do you want to go light? But I'm going to go with this. Um, this is a matte color. I don't know the name of the color, but I'm going to go with this one. See, I'm going to dip it right here. Don't know the color, but I'm just going to go like this. And just bring it under the eye a little bit. Not all the way, not all the way across, y'all. Just like halfway. And connect it to the outer V. You can see what I'm doing right here. Okay. Do the other side. Like so. Like I said, not all the way across, but like about right here. Yeah, about right here. You just basically dusting it right under your eyeliner, eye, your waterline, and you're going to hit that V right here. 
Y'all you know what I forgot to do too? Let me do this. It's supposed to be right here. All right. Ah, normally when I finish my um concealer and stuff, I always come back and fix my my brow tail. You know, because when you're blending foundations and stuff, you you always lose that tail. See, so I'm bringing it back. See, my tail's gone. So I'm bringing my tail back. Bring that joker back. So it makes sense. All right. See that? See the difference? Brought my tail back. All right. So there. Now, one more time just to go. I'm just going like this. Nothing special. Nothing special. Nothing special. All right, y'all. So I swear that is it for the eyes. I'm done with the shadows anyway. So now I'm going to come with this. Um. This mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras, y'all. It's called Last. Y'all see how I got that on my cheek? It's called Last. Let it let it dry, y'all. Let it dry. It's called Last Sensational. And it's Maybelline. Last Sensational. This one is pink. I know y'all used to seeing the black one, but y'all know how they do. They change stuff up. They don't even have that one no more. This ain't even the same one. What? It, I don't know. Do they have that one anymore? I don't know. I haven't bought one in a minute. And I think I just bought this because I just wanted to try it because I felt like Maybelline was going to get rid of the other one. So I said, might as well get this one and get used to it. All right. So y'all don't really have serious uh, lashes, right? And if you notice, I did not use a, a eyelash primer. Normally, I go for my Urban Decay. Like I said, I really only use that for going out, out, special occasions when I just want that extra oomph. When I, when I want to do my glam, glitz and glam face, you know what I'm saying? Can't give it to them every day. So I'm giving you what I got on a regular basis. So this is what I do on a regular basis. All right. I'm going to wait for that to dry. So after I do that, I come back with the MAC. And this one, and I finally found a MAC eyelash. I mean, mascara that I actually like. You know how you get all these samples when you order from MAC? And I just really didn't like any of them. But this one is the False Lashes Extreme Black. And I really like this one. So it kind of helps with the illusion of having master lashes. You know what I'm saying? I just come back on, you know, right up under it with the... When I'm not doing the primer. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm doing good, y'all. I'm almost done. And I'm 47 minutes in. I told y'all like an hour, so I got 15 more minutes, and I'm almost done with this face. So, yeah, so that's that. Now, coming in with the... First of all, let me get rid of this. Let me see how I'm going to get rid of this. Kind of mad at that. All right, so I just rubbed the... I'm going to just do this over here so it kind of like evens out. All right, so gone, right? Come in with my blush. But guess what, y'all? Actually, lies I tell. Coming in with this, this e.l.f. Well, if y'all don't get nothing else from e.l.f., get this damn Turks and Caicos Contour um, Contour Duo, right? Contour Highlight Duo. So I just come like this. It just gives more of a punch with my contour. Especially if I'm not doing the, if I'm not using the, the cream sticks from uh, Fenty. So I come in and I just go like this. Yeah, so y'all know. This, y'all just don't know. Life. You know what I'm saying? So come in with that. And then now I come in with the blush. Y'all, no, I'm not, no, I did not use my, um, my Taraji. I pulled for this Luminoso Baked powder blush from Milani. I got it from a gift from one of the um the GGS girls when we was doing a swap, I believe. So I'm coming in like this. That's all I do. Put that little beautiful smile on my face and come in. Get the color payout that I want. This is a soft color. So I know it's not gonna be pung pungent. You know what I'm saying? So, just just enough. And I like it because it's kind of like a highlight color, too. 
yeah it's re it's really a soft pink and i love it like if y'all y'all see the video at the end with the, the shirt i had on it really brings all these colors in my face together with the sweatshirt is it was just a perfect blush the taraji would have been too hard or whatever too harsh you know but this little soft pastel pink was perfect um i'm trying to remember if i uh moisturized my lips before starting this video i did i moisturized everything else i don't know about my lips but i'm gonna do this real quick because i'm about to get to these lips all right, so now I'm going to take my gold deposit from MAC and go like this. Right on top of that blush right there. This is where I put my highlight. I just smile. I just put it right there like so. Sometimes I come around like that. I really save that for glitz and glam. I really do, and I just go like that. Okay. I hit this button nose of mine. Hit the top of my cubist bow. Come back with this. Cause I want, you know, I don't want it to be too I'm like girl. Yeah. Alright, so there. And um Yeah, we good. Alright, so making sure everything just blended right this one's blended but this side's blended better than this side but we're gonna have to live today oh I forgot one more thing I do with the Taraji I said Taraji one more thing I do with the gold deposit I didn't used to like highlight like I didn't use like shimmer on my brow bone but I just put a little bit of that gold deposit right here girl when that light hit it, you turn your face a certain way. Bam. Okay. Now, the end all be all. The setting of the face. It brings all of this in. I'm using my, I just, I remember when I got away from my MAC MSF. I'm back on my MAC MSF. This is like my favorite um, setting powder ever, right? Um. I was always pulling for my MAC or I was pulling for my makeup forever, but I ran out of that a while ago and I never bought any more. But I think when I buy another setting powder for my makeup, for my foundation, it's going to be the, um, the makeup forever because this MAC has been lasting me for a long time. So this is the second one I bought though. This ain't like the first one I ever bought. So, but it lasts me. And I'm just bringing everything together. Get right up under that chin. And right here. Right here. Brings everything together. Now, last but not least, is my lips. And I'm going to line my lips with this NYX pencil. Because I'm going to go for a soft pink look. Shoot. If y'all hear some noise, sorry for the blur. I'm pulling for my pencil sharpener. All right, so I'm just gonna line the lips. And I don't know what the color is. Let me finish applying and I'll tell you what the color is. But I feel like when you do a, this is kind of like a bold eye. It's not like a subtle eye. It's not like you're using like a bunch of browns and neutral colors. So, anything that's not really super, super, super natural looking. And the eyes, okay, anything that where your eyes are popping out more than usual, you know. You know what, you know when it, you know how, what you think your eyes are popping for you. Everybody's different. Like, y'all look at this and say, Jackie, your eyes ain't popping. But this is a, a popping eye color look for me. For somebody who always pulls for the, the browns and the bronzes and the golds and stuff. It keeps the eye look really natural looking. So I figure I go with this pale pink color. Instead of some super bold, dark, or red, or, or whatever. So I line the lips with my NYX. And this is, it says SPL 860. I'm trying to see if it has a color name. 
Peekaboo. This is called Peekaboo. Okay. So Peekaboo from Knits. I take that. And I want to say I use my hugs from MAC and went over top of it. I, yeah, I think it was hugs. So this is hugs from MAC. It's not a it's not really a mattifying lipstick. Um it's not. So I took hugs and then I came back with the Fenty Boss and put it on top of it. And I'm just dabbing it. And this was the perfect finish for this look. Y'all gotta be careful with this Fenty because a lot of this stuff come on the on the brush. And I'm just dabbing because even though both these colors are kind of in the pink family. I don't want hey, beautiful, so the hugs, the tank, Tuesday, the Fenty too much. Alright, so, beautifuls. This is the finished look. If you hung out with me this long, shout out to y'all, honey. Because this is the finished look. I'm going to play the video at the end so y'all can see what the comparison is to. Let me know how I did. Let me know did I create the look. I want to say maybe the lip color... Is a little bit different. I don't think I use pink. I don't think I use hugs. I think I use a. I think I use pink plaid. A more pinky pinky look. But anywho, this is it. This is the finished look. Updo with these wonderful locks. Uh lock maintenance update or something. A lock update will be coming soon to tell y'all about you know what's been going on, how I'm doing, blah 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 with with my hair. But until the next video, beautifuls. Here we go. Mm, simple clean look for 40 plus women who want to look like they did a lot but they really do a little all right so until the next video beautifuls this is